My name's Eep, and this is my family, the Croods. Five films are in the running for Best Animation at the Oscars on Sunday. The Croods, DreamWorks Animation's second highest grossing film, tells the story of a caveman's family trek through a fantasy world after their cave is destroyed. It's still early. The message behind the movie is that all children are Neanderthals in some way, and it's the great challenge of parents to civilize these creatures. Yeah, we wanted to try to keep like some keep them grounded to some point so that they were from planet Earth, but we always call them sort of evolutionary dead ends. Another hot candidate is Despicable Me 2, the hugely successful sequel to the 2010 hit. Grossing more than 700 million euros at the global box office, it has become the most profitable film ever in the 100-year history of Universal Studios. I am the league's director, Silas Ramsbottom. Bottom. <laughs> The Wind Rises is Japanese animation master Hayao Miyazaki's final film, a tribute to the Japanese airplane designer Jiro Horikoshi. Unlike most other animated movies, The Wind Rises contains no computer-generated elements and is all drawn by hand, a time-consuming job whose imperfections make its charm. Warmly received by critics, the film has won more than 20 international awards. French animation movie Ernest et Célestine has also garnered its share of global awards, including France's César for Best Animated Film. The story of an unlikely friendship between a bear and a mouse, it's based on a series of classic children's books by Gabriel Vincent. Benjamin Renner is one of its three directors. When you choose to adapt a piece of work to the screen, there will inevitably be a part of you in it. I identified very strongly with the work of Gabriel Vincent. After that, it's all down to personal interpretation. Summer in the city of Arendelle. The frontrunner for Best Animated Feature is Disney's box office hit Frozen. The story of a fearless princess who sets off on an epic journey to find her estranged sister whose icy powers have trapped the kingdom in eternal winter. The film has already bagged a Golden Globe and a BAFTA for Best Animated Film, as well as five Annie Awards and a second Oscar nomination for Best Original Song. You want to talk about a problem? I sell ice for a living. Ooh, that's a rough business to be in right Screenwriter Jennifer Lee wrote the screenplay and co-directed the movie. She is the first writer at any major animation studio to become a director. I was more overwhelmed out being the first writer to become a director at Disney Animated Features. <laughs> so, but it's been amazing. I think, you know, more and more women are going into animation. <laughs> Screened ahead of Frozen in cinema theaters, Get a Horse is probably the most viewed in the best animated short film category. Directed by Lauren McMullen, the film looks like a black and white Mickey Mouse cartoon from the 30s before it bursts into color and 3D. The winners will be announced at the 86th Annual Academy Awards on the 2nd of March. You can follow our coverage of the ceremony here on Euronews. Hmm?